This episode of World War II Wayfinder, I am in the tiny hamlet of Holdy, just down from San Marie de Mont, and I'm here to look at an aid station and some of the photos, the then and now photos that we can find from this area. So some of you may already be familiar with the story of Holdy. There was a gun battery here. It's just down from Breakor, maybe half a mile to a mile. Similar situation to Breakor. Um, doesn't receive the attention though the Breakor Manor does, um, but the 101st neutralized the gun battery here to prevent it from shelling Utah Beach. But what is important about these buildings here, this was um, Doc Lague's aid station. Now he was the 2nd Battalion Surgeon from the 502nd Parachute Infantry Regiment and there's a great series of then and now photos that, um, that I want to show you that were taken in and around here. Also some involving armour as it moved from Utah Beach. So this is the first photo and we can see that Doc Leg and his men have established the aid station here. It's also probably a bit of a rest stop for some of the 502nd troopers that came across it all sort of gravitating toward this area. Now this is the photo from 1944 but that's the building as it stands today. Not a great deal's changed. Looks like the roof has been lowered um, somewhat. That was pointed out by one of the guys who I'm actually touring around today, but you can definitely see there's a distinct color change in the brickwork from just above the windows to below the roof. And we can still see that on the property today, which is really cool. Now the next one was taken approximately on this corner. Now the stone wall there, there used to be a building there. So the foundations there are still present, but it looks like it's been turned into a, like a little garden pond there now. Um, so the comparison isn't easy, but we can tell by the shape in the road. So that's the image. We can see a trooper here from the 502nd. We can tell he's 502nd because of the white cloth tied around his left arm or around his left shoulder and under his arm. I can't remember exactly which units of the 502nd put it on the left arm versus the right arm or wore it around the neck. If you see the, the photos at Greenham Common of the 502nd with Eisenhower, you'll, you'll also see it. Um, this was done because the 502nd didn't mark their helmets up with the, with the ticks that you see on the 501st and the 506th. So if we look at the image there, we can see two troopers there, one holding his M1 Garand, another one leaning on the wheel. Interestingly, actually, to note that he's still got his chin cup attached to his helmet after the jump, even though Sure, it was probably flapping in his face and annoying him. There's a curve in the road here, quite a distinct one. Sort of bends around to the right. And then at the end of the road, it starts to head toward the left. And we can see that clearly in this image here. So for the next image, looking at the aid station again itself, we can see a group of 502nd troopers, 101st troopers, and some German prisoners or casualties that have been brought to this location. Um, see some of them are casualties. They've got the casualty notification tags around their necks. That's that white there. And this German soldier here with his arm in a sling. See more men of the 502nd there with the distinctive Ace of Hearts on their helmet. There's a medical officer there with his um, vertical stripe on the back of his helmet to denote that he was a, an officer. Again, that image was taken somewhere. Try and line it up for you. taken around there. And following on from those images, there's some more taken on the, um, looking at the opposite side of the courtyard here. So this is a great photo here. We've got, I believe, an officer from the 502nd, just because he's carrying binoculars there, but that could mean he was also a senior NCO. He's got his M1A1 carbine there with the airborne folding stock. Two German prisoners, I think casualties as well with their casualty notification tags on their jackets. And I think this is potentially um, same German soldier from the last image with the, with the broken arm or the, the injured arm because he's not got his arms through the sleeves of his jacket, but it could be, could quite easily be another one as well. And there we see another one of the medical guys from the 502nd. But again, if we line up the image as best we can, because it is someone's house and only on land, that's what it looks like to this day. Still focusing on the A station before the last then and now, uh, this I really like, just shows the, the badass attitude of the American Airborne um, during D-Day. So again, those are the two, two Germans, but look at this, uh, look at this trooper here from the, uh, the 101st. Cigarette in his mouth, just generally looking hard as nails. And the injured Germans there with their, uh, their hands on their head. 
and try and get it get the perspective right that was taken roughly in this location so we can see quite a few photos taken in this tiny little area and it's literally you know two or three houses again another tiny gorgeous little norman french hamlet and uh, it's it's always nice to to be out here in the in the quiet country lanes exploring it but the final image is um is a really cool one so this one did take me a minute to locate because there is uh it was part of the building that kind of confused me but it wasn't until we came back to the aid station here um, we saw the foundations that we figured actually this was the right spot. So this is the image of the 65th Field Artillery Battalion coming ashore from Utah Beach. And there is an M7 Priest with its uh, 105 millimeter howitzer. And you can also see the 50 cal on the cupola on the top. Certainly one airborne trooper here. This individual, not too sure, possibly uh, an officer with the insignia on his helmet, but a bit hard to make out. Now, I believe this image was taken um, just going to try and orientate myself as as best I can if the building was still there but about from this point here it will be coming down this straight road and driving inland so I hope you've enjoyed this then and now episode from Holdy um, looking at Doc Lake's aid station uh, from 2nd Battalion 502nd Parachute Infantry Regiment if you have I would love it if you would hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. I've got loads of Normandy content, Battle of the Bulge content, and from further afield in Europe as well. So please consider hitting that subscribe button. I really appreciate it and it helps the channel grow so I can bring more of this content to you. So I'll see you all in the next one.